Hello, everyone. Welcome to this follow-up for Transient Random Noise Burst with Announcements by Stereo Lab. So, uh, second Stereo Lab album. I have not heard the third one. I'm about to record that one, so I can't really compare it. I just have the first album to compare it to. Um, definitely my favorite so far. Miles up ahead of uh, Peng, which was a, a solid freshman outing, but it didn't quite form into anything very unique or cohesive, but that is not the case on this album. This album was splendid. Um, great mix of like uh, synth and um, like post-rock, uh, kraut rock, um, just a lot of different elements kind of coming together to make this sort of noisy indie pop kind of album. Um, some of my favorites, uh, I, like, I like Tone Burst, Pack Your Romantic Mind is far and away my favorite track on the album. Uh, maybe that's a kind of a normie response or claim, but I don't care. It's a great track and I love that kind of almost bossa nova feel to it. Um, Golden Ball is a solid post-rock-esque track. Um, analog Rock, I actually, like aside from the hard panning, which like almost gives me a headache, the music itself is that's one of my favorite tracks on here uh crest is a highlight as well i just think it it um this trend that stereo lab seems to do where they start a song um with like very just basic chords and then it just kind of escalates and escalates uh, it's like what golden ball did but crest is like a much more kind of indie rock rather than post rock uh angle on it and uh, I like Crest more than Golden Ball, actually. I like, I love the way Crest climaxes. Uh, Lock Groove Lullaby, this really kind of heavy, chunky, sort of slower track to end it out. And then that kind of funny, bouncy little, I assume, what is in the Lock Groove that plays infinitely at the end if you're on the vinyl. Um, interesting outro as well. Some of the, my least favorite ones would be our Trinitone Blast and I'm Going Out of My Way. Um... They're fine, but they don't quite reach the heights of tracks like Golden Ball or Crest to me. Um, well, there's one I'm missing. Uh, pause is um, okay. It's not a favorite. Like I said, the, the latter part that's almost more of a sound collage um, just doesn't quite do it for me. But it like it kind of gives a nice little pause, a little break before uh, the next track, Jenny Ondio Line. Which, if I'm not mistaken, you guys said in the comments of the reaction that what happened on the EP was that's just a very shortened version of this track. I was wondering like, okay, this is 18 minutes. Is this just like the EP, the whole EP? And I was like, well, no, there's Golden Ball on the EP. So I'm kind of confused. Um, I've warmed up to Jenny. Um, I still don't like it as much as some other tracks. I think the my issue is just that it sounds like, literally does sound almost like three or four different tracks squished together. Um, it doesn't have that through line. Um, that I like with with certain post rock kind of tracks, but they're the individual elements of the track I do like and the the latter part um, that sounds kind of like almost like it's in reverse or something. You guys know what I'm talking about the the basically the last fourth of Jenny Ondio line is uh, my favorite part of it. It's pretty cool. Uh, so it's a really solid album. Um, it I wasn't quite expecting it, but at the same time I can see the transition and the evolution the band is on. And I'm very curious to see what the next album sounds like. So anyway, that is all, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.